Oh. Here, put this down. Okay, well, obviously, you spent a lot of time on your stage act. Um, it's a pretty dynamic stage act. Uh, Alex, can you tell us a little bit about how that developed? Yeah, by playing five hours a night, five days a week at different bars and clubs, sweating it out and um, so called paying your dues. Yeah. We, we used to play about uh, yeah, five hours of really hard grinding rock and roll, no slow songs at all. And it just uh, it carried on over to uh, our original music. Now, Michael, uh, music's always changing. You know, in some cases, it looked as if rock and roll and that grinding stuff was sort of going to be sort of, uh, perhaps sort of fall back and then there's a new wave and that. And yet, the hard grinding rock and roll has really come out in the last, say, six or seven months. I mean, uh -huh. did it worry you as a group that, that with all this changing going on? Oh, no. It's, you know, everybody's got, got it, a little of it, you know, in themselves. And it's, you know... We just, uh, you know, you know, know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> in the 60s or over, so are the 70s. We're the new thing. And we, you met all, we all went to school or something like that? Yeah, well, we were all going to different schools and uh, living in a generally the same area of California. None of us are from California. That's a come we don't sound like the Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, we just wanted to get discovered, and L.A. is a good place to do it. You know, there's a lot of music, a lot of rock bands, a lot of everything going on in Los Angeles. Well, now, I must ask you this. You were just saying that in California there are a lot of rock bands. Um, how did you finally get a recording contract and, and, and break through into, you know, into, into the big time? We got discovered. The president of uh, Warner Brothers came down and saw us playing in a bar one night. We were playing for free, and he came with our producer, Ted Templeman, who... Uh, who else does he produce? Oh, a variety uh, of Beauty artists. Beauty yeah. yeah. Brothers, Little Feet. Right. And uh, they said, we want to sign you. Is it, is it hard to break through, like for, for any group that just forms? Not if you're good. No? <laughs> good <one. laughs> You gotta have faith in yourself, you know. It's you hard. Keep at it. A lot of people get together, you know, and they change members every other week. You know, they go, oh, who are they this time? You know. Right. You gotta stick together and just keep working. Well, I'm seeing um, on the film clip, especially if you really got me, um, uh, that, that it's a pretty dynamic sort of light show on that. I mean, is that like it is on stage? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, even better now because we have more lights. We're making more money now. Right. <laughs> but as a supporting act, you're kind of limited to the lighting that you can use. Yeah. But uh, you know, as we you know keep going in the headlines, it gets bigger and bigger. You know. Well, now being as I say a relatively new show and, and, and having sort of a lot of sort of dynamics and sort of color in on in on stage. This is your first trip to say Europe uh, and England. Uh, what has the reaction been like towards you? Everybody used to tell me that in England, the audiences are much more subdued, you know, they just sit there and then they clap at the yeah. end. They're crazier here than in the States. Now tell me, um, you must take some form of, uh, form of pet pills or something. <laughs> no, you don't need to stop, mate. It's natural. It's natural yeah. energy. It's natural. It's for real, you know. We're not acting. When we walk on stage, that's what we want to do, really. Right now, you're heading down for uh, for Japan, um, and then you have to go back to the States. Any any chance of you, or any thought about you coming down to Australia? We like to. Yeah. We talked yeah. about it. It's, uh, you know, it's a question of time and money. We've been on the road since February, and we'll be on the road until at least the middle of October. 1999. So, <laughs> so this is, you know, it's a, this is a longer tour as it is already than anybody else is really doing. So we'll hit, it, we'll hit Australia for sure eventually. Well, listen, uh, thanks for being on the show. Oh, thank, and, you. Uh, thank you. very much. And play more of that good rock and roll, because yeah. it is good. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, and we hope to see you down in Australia soon. Great. Thank Here's you. Here's to Australia. Okay. Here's Australia. Australia! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take three. This is Edward Van Halen saying, are you watching Countdown? One take five. This is Michael Anthony from Van Halen saying, have you had your portion of Countdown today? Hi, no. Australia. Australia. <laughs> right. Oh, oh. Anyway. Uh, we're Van Halen, we're a rock group. Uh, yes, well, I thought that's uh, what you uh, <laughs> said to not David Lee Roth from Van Halen here, Australia, and Countdown has really got me. <laughs> Take seven. Hey, everybody, it's Alex from Van Halen, 
And I'm telling you, life sure will be dull without uh, whatever the name of this joke is. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the show? Wait a minute, I forgot. Countdown! Flight hey. 7. Hey, everybody! This is Alex from Van Halen. I'm telling you, life sure would be dull without Countdown. Can I get down now? <laughs> <laughs> this is really uncomfortable, you know? <laughs> countdown!